hello and welcome back so let's see we have some cars still in the workshop let's just quickly go through them and finish what we can and what else do we have anything interesting to book oh look an old mercedes okay we're just losing that now Volkswagen Bora nah I don't want this this either Hot Wheels Spanker Hmm, that's an interesting one. That's a C8, also interesting. Corvette. You know what? We're gonna do this. Never done one of these before. So let's just do a... Oh, yeah, there's no space. Let's just bring one in quickly. Which one will we do next? Okay. Oh, gears and everything. And this. Yeah, that's a quick one. Let's bring that in. Put it on the second ramp and then we can book the other one there we go okay oh look at that yeah pretty cool one mm -hmm. yeah nice engine there okay so let's go back to our that's the RX, RX-7. Mm -hmm. And you know what? Let's just take a few pictures. Because why not? Okay. And let's take a few pictures of this other monster as well. Just open it up. See what's going on here. Ooh, big engines. Ah, I want a few more pictures. There we go. And this huge monster. There we go. Okay, that will do. Not wasting time with this. So, what do we need to do here? Sway bar and links. Running gear. Brake fluid, coolant, power steering, windscreen washer. Okay, what can we do? Let's start by draining fluids. That's one. That's two. That is three. And there we go for four. Okay. Now, rear end sway bar links. Which one? That looks okay. And that looks not okay. So let's remove the wheel here quickly. And we're just gonna go quickly and remove this. There we go. What else have we got here? Ray coolant power windscreen. Okay, we will find that. Yeah, let's just fit that quickly. Just buy one. Okay. And then at least we can put back the wheel and finish this rear side. Okay, there we go. Okay, now we have 
have some more issues to find. Let's just, you know what? Actually, let's just examine everything. Let's do the fluids first. Because otherwise we won't be able to run some tests. We want to run all our tests even if we don't need them. Because we need our experience points. And with the points we run the test. We will need the fluids. And hopefully we will discover whatever is left. Oh, there we go. Front sway bar is going to be. I already see it. But still, let's just test everything. Coolant break. There you go. Okay, and break fluid. Voila. Start testing. And on the first test we will find our problem. There you see go. See? Let's check our list. Did we find it? <laughs> of course we did. What a question. If we know what to do. And if we know what we're doing, of course we find it straight away. Now we're gonna waste a bit of time to test everything and get our experience points up. But still, maybe with this car, if we're lucky, we should be able to level up. That would be actually quite nice. suspension with a lot of parts but that's okay and just a few less in the middle well only two all together and the other side well overall the car is not in great condition so we're accepted to fit lower quality parts which is okay and let's do the engine that's why it's good. We take parts from some cars, bring them to our warehouse, keep them there if they're not completely bad. We might be able to fit them on other cars. Usually if it's over 50%, sooner or later you should be able to reuse it. Oh, oh hold on, what was that? Man? Nothing, I just thought that I didn't do all the tests. So. Let's continue with what's left. I guess we're not gonna jump level, but still, it's okay. We don't have enough parts to test. Do even tires. Well, they're not great, obviously, but not our problem. What's the quality? 48% required. That's okay, so that's why it gets away with low quality parts. Compression. There we go. Okay, not 
not many parts here. And this... Oh, we have some. Okay, that's good. Okay. Now. Sway bar. That's all what's left. Let's just leave the car. That will go from underneath. And there we go. And we have to remove the sway bar and mm -hmm. links, which is actually the drop links. Oh yes, and the tires for that. Oh, how much I hate this. That's okay. That's why I never became a tire man. I don't like to remove wheels. I like to open engines. I like to do any repairs. I don't like to remove wheels. Sorry, that's that's what it is. That's the truth. Cannot do anything about it, you know. Same thing. If you don't like rice, you can eat potatoes. But if you don't like it, you don't like it. quickly and get it out of here. I want to fix another one today, so let's see. Get over with it. here of course I'm not gonna drive it out like at the beginning that was to show you how you should do it and every single time you should do it like that but that's it okay let's check this one quickly what else have we got waiting that's okay Okay, you know what? Because I don't know what, I don't have any space left outside. So let's just do this and then we'll worry about it later. What's this? Hmm, not bad. Big engine. Brake fluid, power steering fluid. That's all. Huh. Okay. Well, then we're gonna finish this quickly. refill okay and there we go power steering please yeah of course we don't see when we are at the level but it's okay Field, whatever. So, 
You know what? I will run the tests. I need my points. I want to level up right now in this session. Oh, huge wheels, huge tires, big everything. Uh, okay, many fancy parts here. that engine it's so high like it's floating up there yeah that's what I'm looking for okay now some exhaust here and the other one not great but okay Yeah, let's do quickly the rear suspension. <clears throat> okay, and the engine finally. And with this we're gonna level up. Plus, we're gonna run the engine tests and we're gonna already progress into new level. And BAM! There we go. That's brilliant. So, thank you. Let's go to the engine tests quickly, finish them and say goodbye. including tires and everything that's okay and then we should have enough points to level up our repair skills which means we're gonna get the last level we're missing there and then we can literally fix anything what is fixable I think I skipped the fuse box. Two points. Eh. Might go back to it. Might not. We will see. I could say that I will sleep on it and figure it out. But... But, who knows? Okay, and... Last but not least, the diagnostic section. Okay, that's not bad. So I get these two points. I'm not gonna leave it there. And there we go. Okay, did we do everything? We did. Get those few pennies and good luck. Let's just go and see if we can level up our... Oh yes, we can. There we go. And this, we need one more point. So we will get it on our next one. Now, what should we cut time to examine parts, right? I guess yes. Also, I guess we should increase screwing speed for start. Yeah, that will do. Okay, and I guess we are here again, so 
Let's just roll in two more cars and say goodbye. Let's bring this into the first ramp. And let's go and bring this into the second one. Do we have anything interesting to book? Oh, the Quattro. Wow. Nothing major, but I'll get it. Yeah, I like that car. Uh, F-Type. No, I don't want it. This one. Don't know. Supra. Yes. S3. I will take the Supra. That's a nice one. Okay. And that's that. There's a lot of discoveries to be done. It's like Discovery Channel. Oh, look at that. Why do we need to discover everything? Eh, should be Animal Planet instead of Discovery Channel. But whatever. That's okay. Go on there. You as well. Get some rest. And good luck to you. I take some pictures. Actually, I'm going to open it up and then take some pictures. And there we go. Okay, there's this skull. Okay. And there we go for the other one as well. That's that, done. And one more. Okay, great. So, I hope you enjoyed today, the video, the repairs. Maybe you even learned something from it. And uh, see you next time. Bye.